Good afternoon. It is Saturday. No, Sunday for you guys. Surfing today was terrible, by the way. Um, Friday, making this early. I've got some plans. I'm going to need to do some work on the car. I don't know how late I'll be doing it. And, uh, you know, I need to get some stuff out. So I want to get some videos ahead in case I run into a snag and I don't get a chance to finish. So making another video. This is another story time. I know what you're thinking. That is tea. Not kombucha. Okay, so I was telling you a story about the Chevelle, which reminded me of another story that was similar doing burnouts. But this time it was me, but it had Jason with his Chevelle. It was high school. It was a Friday. Um, probably, now at this time, my high school, I was like a guinea pig. So I would be, I was able to go from my, my high school class to 13 miles away was another high school and it was a two period class for auto shop. So, um, I got, they let me go. It's first time they weren't a lot. They weren't like students didn't transfer. They didn't have like centralized, you know, stuff that some of the high schools have now. Some of the states have where they have like centralized, like tech center and all the students from all the high schools can come in. They didn't have that. But one high school we had was a really good auto shop class and I wanted to take it. And so the student, the teacher agreed to let me come from my high school. So they gave me an extra period, um, like a study hall and a longer lunch to get over to this class, which I went down the same 13 mile road that I got told you the story about. I got pulled over or 11 miles or whatever. when I got pulled over like 13 different times and tickets and whatever when I was being an idiot. This is why I was over in that part of town was because of that school. So this is a Friday afternoon and it's probably about, I know school's out. So football practice is over, school's out. I think we had a game or something, or maybe it was in between seasons because it would have been, I would have been playing on Friday or Saturday. But uh, so it must have been in between, it was like off season. So off season, I forget what time of the year, but it was dry and we're down in the parking lot at the, so our high school had a big parking lot down low. There was like 1,600 students. And there was like maybe one or two cars in this parking lot. A couple, you know, um, concrete ballast with some light poles and stuff. But all in all, a wide open, huge parking lot with, you know, no speed bumps and no, you know, like no dividers and no parking bumpers. So it was just painted lines and this giant parking lot. And uh, there are some stairs at the back of it that went up to the high school that was set up here on a hill and this was down low in the front parking lot and there was a street that went across the front and there was like three entrances and exits to get into this parking lot and so and there's like a bus stop so my buddy Jason and I were down low at the bottom of this parking lot away from the school and he's got a Chevelle park like this and I got my at the time I had a 68 sport satellite parked right there and um we were doing burnouts like we had School's over, there's no one there, no teachers, no nothing. No students, maybe one or two cars from friends that got rides with friends. And we're out there just whipping cookies and doing burnouts. And I'm in my car and he's in his and we're just like kicking around. And we parked down at the bottom. We're leaning on our fenders and just talking about cars and girls and racing and whatever the weekend was going to do and who knows what. And, you know, I'm kind of looking around and all of a sudden I look back up the stairs and I see this like spot of somebody coming down the stairs. I was like, oh, well, whatever. I figured they were going to one of the cars in the parking lot. And a few minutes later, I looked over and this individual's getting closer, walked right past the car that was close up there. And I looked again and I can see this is a rent -a cop Like here's, here comes security. And he comes walking up and I'm, you know, I'm a dumb football player, smart aleck kid. And he walks up to me and He's looking at our cars. We're in the middle of a conversation. He clears his throat and we look at him like, you know, that look you give you, like, whatever, man. You know, he's like, is this your car? And I'm like, I'm leaning on it. He said, did you make them marks out there? And I was like, some of them. And he says, I want to see you in my office, you know, Monday morning, first thing. And I'm like, probably not. So I get in my car and touch it off and we like burn out and leave and take off and leave that guy standing there. Monday morning rolls around. But what I didn't know was somebody from another high school or something 
went and drove around the grassy knolls and like tore up the grass around the school and up on the football field. Now, I would never have defaced my own high school, let alone my football field, because that's where I played my games. I mean, that's like sacred ground to me. So it wasn't me, but they did catch me doing donuts. The officer saw me doing cookies and stuff out there in the parking lot. So they put two and two and five together and made it like 62 and come up with a number that I'm guilty. And so um, I didn't report first thing in the morning to the officer like I, like I was supposed to, and I didn't care. And so like I'm in second period or something, and <clears throat> I can see somebody come and interrupt the teacher. And then they both look at me, and I'm like, mm, this is good. So I end up going down to the principal's office, and they put me with a security guard. And, you know, they accuse me of all this stuff, and, of course, I tell them it didn't happen. But there's a, uh, there's like a state board person there, and they had handed down this decree that, you know, I was not allowed to be in a vehicle within 100 feet of a school property, which, you know, how am I supposed to get auto shop class? How am I supposed to get to school? And they're like, well, that's your problem. And so the auto shop class itself and its, and its you know, caged area was, I could be in there on my vehicle because I'm in class, but getting across the parking lot to get there, I had to be sneaky. Just don't get caught. <clears throat> but I couldn't even be riding in a car when this went on. And so uh, I had to park like down the street, get out and walk to school and all this stuff. So I had to be creative about that. But uh, rightfully so, I was, you know, they should have busted me for doing something like that. I mean, I was acting up, and I wasn't being respectful. So, uh, yeah, that was a tough one. I probably still am not allowed to be within 100 feet of a school in a vehicle. They just didn't trust me. Bob's your uncle. Anyway, uh, let that be a lesson to you young guys. These stories all have a moral. I am not the hero in any of these stories, by the way. They may be funny, they may sound funny, but the stuff I'm telling you is intended to learn from, you know, somebody who went ahead and made big mistakes. Make good choices. Don't, don't be an idiot. I mean, have fun. You should be having fun, but don't do it at other people's expense because uh, eventually it'll just catch up with you. You never get away from it. Um... I don't think I ever grew up. I'm probably not gonna. Anyway, um, that's it though. That's the end of this Sunday story time and the plan is probably I'm gonna probably put the supercharger on and get all this stuff off this bench so I can close the hood and keep all the stuff off because I'm gonna start the rear differential um, fabbing and stuff and I have most of that stuff. Thanks Rob for loaning me the welder and he also cut some metal and stuff that he found and gave it to me. So, um, yeah, that's going to happen. Anyway, have a happy Sunday.